people have opted in the bonus. So maybe you, those of you who have opted in, you can go and ask. Uh, now that your L bonus is more than B bonus, can I change from B to L or not? Another significant difference between B and L before you go and ask is this. V bonus, everybody qualifies. L bonus, not everybody qualifies. Only the not so rich people qualify. <laughs> right? uh, as you can see, the L bonus is 4,000, 3,002 or 2,002. In order to qualify for L bonus, your accessible annual income cannot be more than 54,000. The annual value of property cannot be more than 11,000. So if you're a rich person, don't go and ask CPM board whether you can change. If you got change, you might get zero. <laughs> but when you're a poor person, uh, maybe you should go and ask because you know, the L bonus actually pays, in most cases, more than the B bonus. To get the L bonus, right, if you are born 54 or earlier, you must opt by the end of this year. If you don't, uh, you opt later. You can opt later, but you will lose your L bonus. So what I'm saying, we have a lot of time now. Uh, you have until the end of next year to decide. After that, you decide, also can. What you think is that no L bonus for you, even if you qualify. For those who are born 55 to 62, you can take your own sweet time because it's 12 months after hitting 55 in order to get your L bonus. So for those who are younger but not going to be uh, 201355, uh, once you reach 55, they give you one year to decide if you want to get the L bonus. So who are the people who should not opt for the CPM life? Number one, people who are in poor health. So poor health means going to die like that. Life annuity is for people who live long. Right? So the doctors say you're very sick or have no good, don't opt for sick your life. Second, uh, if you are definitely sure that you want to migrate, like earlier you saw, give up, leave Singapore, Malaysia permanently. Right? You are ER, you want to from Malaysia, you want to get your CPF at 50, leave permanently. This group of people should not opt for CPF life. Why? Because once you opt for CPF life, if you withdraw, you give up your citizenship, you want to withdraw a lump sum, can. But it's no longer the lump sum in your account. It will be the surrender value of your CPF life annuity, plus whatever is in your account, depending on which plan you, you select. Okay. So, let's say you are 2013 and later the young people, then you are thinking, I may want to migrate, which plan should I opt for? Opt for the one that pay you the least, the basic plan. Because the surrender value will be highest if you do decide to upgrade the new application. Because the cash value will be the highest. Lastly, if you are very poor, uh, you may have some problem opting into CPF life. Right? Particularly for women, all the figures I showed you is for men. If you saw women, the amount under CPF life are, are lower. So for people who are very poor, it may be a problem. Of course, you want to have monthly income for life. But if let's say you are only getting $300 today, and you opt, you get $180. This $20 difference uh, may kill you before you even make it. Uh, <laughs> so uh, for poor people, it's a little bit uh, difficult, especially uh, for poor women. Okay. Like all policy changes, sometimes there is good news. And this one, nobody knows yet. Very good news. This $10 enough to pay you. Do you know some of you can turn your CPF to cash now? Uh, you see, in the past, when you top up your parent's account, let's say, when your parent uh, you know, has not met the minimum sum, you can top out, and then every month your parent can draw money, right? So many of you do that. But before September the 1st, there is a limit that your parent can withdraw every month, no matter how much you top up. You top up your parent account 100,000. But your parent can still draw $295 a month, let's say with a 75 fund call. So most people don't top up $100,000. If you top up $100,000, you also get $295. Most people will top up just $3,000 and take the $295. Now with CPF life, this minimum restriction is going to be So if your parent never have CPF before, you top up one shot, $170,000. You know there are people who have a lot of money in the CPF, but business fail, jobless, or are desperate for money, uh, this group, uh, Right, you transfer to your parents account, hundred and seventy thousand. Everyone can get thousand plus. You can turn your CPF to cash immediately. Okay? Thanks. So 
who can you top up? Uh, nowadays, they top up practically everybody. Parents, grandparents, spouse, children, siblings, and whatever. Somebody asked me on my radio show, yeah, I need money so desperately. I don't know money in my CPF, you know, but I'm jobless. But I don't have parents to top up how? They go and find a very old wife. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I find a old wife, never had CPF before, one. Right? Ah, say 70 old years old, one. Oh, straight away, transfer CPF every month by $1,000. Huh? Don't do that. Whenever there's policy change, I want new, new, new group. And of course, if you use cash to top up, huh? each of the children to top up can get $7,000 uh, tax relief. And since there's no limit on the withdrawal now, those with like 10 children, all 10 can top up. In the past, they all fight, you know, you know why? I top up, then I get the money, and then I get $295, so who top up? So some people say, like, this year you can top up, say, now, no need. now all can do together, because the limit, the withdrawal limit has been removed. Uh, on the side 